back with another one. Getting the ball rolling on Saturday. Hopefully, everybody doing well. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic. Don't forget, um, tonight, super flyweight, triple header, um, headlined by Chocolito Gonzalez taking on uh, Sorek in the rematch. HBO, I think it starts at 10, 10 Eastern Standard Time, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, but apparently, Anthony Joshua has been called out by um, a couple UFC heavyweights. This guy, stopping Miyake, Rocket, I don't know his name. Steep Miyake, he a champion, I don't know his name. And then Junior Dos Santos, uh, two guys called him out. He's a former champion of the UFC heavyweight division. And it sounds like uh, Joshua, um, you know, may entertain going over the UFC, uh, making it happen, which I think is a bad idea. Uh, make those guys come to you. But if the money's right, he's going to do it. And what's funny is, you know, he sent an insult to them before he sends an insult to two, two threats in his own division. You know, um, he said, I, you know, you can't talk, to, you know, because they called him out. And I guess it was disrespectful. I'm going to need an article uh, in the description, uh, the link, um, so I can read it. He said, you know, those guys can't talk to me like that. I slap him around, uh, do all this shit to him. But, you know, he getting violent and, uh, you know, verbally with those guys. But, um. You know, won't won't speak a peep about Deontay Wilder, or Luis Ortiz, especially Ortiz. Um, you know, he's talking about uh, I know how to punch, I know how to elbow, and I know how to you know use. The only thing I'm, I'm weak at is, is the submission, and those guys can handle me in, in the octagon. So he's really talking about the octagon. Uh, you know, Eddie Hearn let him go to the octagon. I doubt it. It's all water cooler talk. But if the money is right, that's what they want. They want big money fights. You know, UFC or boxing. And if he loses in the UFC, does it really hurt his credibility in boxing? Um, you know, to me, yeah. But he ain't losing no belt, so, um, you know, and it's the money right here, do it. But it's funny to me that these guys, you know, he's even, you know, verbally entertaining um, UFC heavyweights when he hasn't done jack shit in his own division, but be the 41-year-old 40, senior citizen um, in Vladimir Klitschko, you know. He talking cash shit to them, but won't tell cash shit to people in his division to hype up a fight. Because he don't want to fight Ortiz or Wilder. He wants to be an entertainer. And, you know, I think most people, you know, take a misconception about Floyd Mayweather's career. Everybody want to go to Floyd Mayweather's route. They want to keep their old. They want to be entertainer. But at the end of the day, you know, he had to earn what he got. It just wasn't handed to him. I remember he's fighting in Vegas in front of like, you know, 500 people or some shit. It wasn't filling out shit. You know, I mean, he fought the tough guys coming up as well, you know. Um, he paid his dues and all of a sudden everybody want to skip to pay the dues for it and just want to be handed, you know, the crown of boxing or the, the major, you know, control of boxing. Everybody just want to be handed that shit. Everybody want to be an entertainer. How can you go to another, uh, another combat sport when you haven't sold up your own division, when you haven't beat anybody with youth or relevance that's still, you know, in a prime, you can't do that, you know? But like I said, all they do, you know, team Joshua, Eddie Hearn care about that dollar. You know, they probably fight you up in the UFC, make some money, win, lose a draw, come back, take a tune up. They're going to take the time, man. They're they not worried about Deontay White. They're not worried about Ortiz. They're not worried about Joseph Parker. They know they know that those guys are basically their boxing horse, their boxing prostitute. And, and, the, and the Shanks and the Bell body is going to let them do what they want to do, you know. So, you know, if you got the power to do what you want to do and put shit on hold, you're going to do it, you know. Uh, you know, he don't care about the fans. He don't care about nothing. He care about the dollar, and that's the way Eddie Hearn got him trained to train to think. Expand your money, make your money, and and do what's right, make the right career moves. So, um, you know, would I be surprised he stepped in UFC octagon before he fought with Deontay Wilder, Joseph Parker, Luis Ortiz? Not at all, man. Not at all. But it's just prerogative, man. You know, they want you. You know, they want to bring the heavyweight division back. Some of my boxing runs better with the heavyweight division, but how can you? Uh, how can you? How can you support the heavyweight division that, you know, guys don't want to tussle. They don't want, they don't want to exchange. They don't want to fight. They want to be entertainers. They want to have the glory before the glory has been get, been earned. And, you know, with the fans handing him the glory already, of course, he's going to do whatever he wants because y'all going to love him, pay to watch him no matter what he does, how he does it. And y'all going to make up the excuses for him. And the guys you don't like, y'all going to continue to put them down, make excuses for him, make excuses against them. And um, they're the ones that really got to earn it. Him, he didn't have to earn anything in his boxing career yet, man. Everything was laid out um, on a perfect platter, fork, spoon, knife, everything laid out perfect for him. He didn't have to earn or or or, or really uh, have to, you know, know what it was to suffer, you know, know what it was to earn his shit in boxing. And that shit comes back to bite you in your ass, but it is what it is. Your boy CJ Goodfellow at the Boxing Clinic. We gone.